Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. And yes, game, I know I can level up, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, it's been about a day since the Siege of Whiterun was broken. It was broken very speedily, mind you, but it's been a day since the Siege of Whiterun was broken. Everything seems to have returned vaguely back to some sense of normality. The place is still in a bit of a state though, however, as you can see, but uh, nothing I'm sure people won't be able to deal with. And the Stormcloaks have been sent packing. They have been sent running away back to Windhelm with their tails between their legs. Seriously, I saw some of them. They were running off in that direction over that bridge. It was hilarious. And um, so we've been just kind of resting, probably participated in some sort of victory speech. Uh, and you know, sort of victory banquet up at Dragon's Reach. I imagine that's something they probably would have done. And now we need to get back to General Tullius and sort of report in because you know we've not seen him in a while now. Um. So yeah, I've also got my crossbow back because I now have some more bolts for it. Finally, some of the stormcloaks who attacked us were, shall we say, kind enough to donate some uh, crossbow bolts to me uh, after the battle was over. So I now have crossbow ammo finally once again because apparently it's it's remarkably rare. I did buy a little bit off uh, some of the smiths but they didn't have very many so yeah. I need to be sparing with those. I've still got the longbow although I'm a little unsatisfied with it on the whole. I think it's a very awkward weapon frankly and I'm thinking I might ditch it all together, but I don't know. It's still kind of potentially quite good for long-ranged duels. But it's also very difficult to aim at a long distance as well, actually, so I don't know. It's, um... Uh, we'll see. What I do know for certain is that I, de I really like the crossbow, and I won't be ditching that anytime soon, so... In any case. So we're about to leave. Go find uh, General Tullius. Etc. Etc. Make our way to solitude, and I'm going to level up first things first because uh, otherwise I'm just going to forget completely. Otherwise, uh, stamina, please. I want to keep these roughly even, I think. And what can we? We have two perks because apparently I forgot to spend one before. What can we spend it on, though? Leathercraft. Hmm. Don't know about that. Heavy armor. Increases our base heavy armor. Ooh, might be a good idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stalwart defense. You can specialize training to deflect blade weaponry and padded your heavy armor with mesh. Protect against shock magic, resulting in 10% less damage from these sources while fully clad in heavy armor. That looks good. Bastion. Your fight, your peak fighting prowess becomes apparent when wearing a full set of heavy armor, giving you a 25% armor bonus while in that state. Oh, yeah. That sounds good to me. Potentially upgrade. No, I can't upgrade block, right? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Um, I can almost upgrade Armsman again. Bladesman. Oh, actually, you know what I do need to get before I go any further and get anything else? I need to I need to get ballistics so I can craft myself new crossbow bolts and potentially make myself a dwarven crossbow, apparently. Although I think I might need dwarven smithing in order to do that, but still. I don't know, let's check. Dwarven. Dwarven crossbow. Requires five dwarven ingots. Ignores 50% armor. Damage seven. Oh, <laughs> look at it. I want one of those. I really, really, really want one of those. Alright, well. <laughs> New long term goal make a dwarven crossbow. Or some dwarven bolts as well, I think. Mm, yeah, it's very nice. Anyway, Got so in the meantime, let's here. let's get moving. Let's go. Let's head on out to solitude. And uh, I guess we'll find out what we need to do next after that. I'm gonna bring Lydia with me. Don't really see why not. So, right. I did just cut that uh, that loading screen there out the uh, recording. Wasn't a very long loading screen. 
And, uh, you know, I might actually not do that from now on, so long as it's not a really long loading screen for the simple reason that, uh... It, it makes it really difficult for me to do noise removal on these videos afterwards if I have loads and loads of tiny parts that it's, that it's all split up into, actually. Well, that's not what difficult, it just takes more time to do, I guess. But at the same time, it's generally a good idea, I think, to occasionally pause the recording, just for safety's sake, because otherwise... If you get a big computer crash and you're using a program like DXTory, it will corrupt the recording. And if you keep frequently stopping and starting, that at least reduces the amount of recording lost. And oh, damn and blast it! There's no cart. Where's the cart gone? Hey, you, you t tell me where the blasted cart is. Got the fleet of steeds in all the Skyrim. Uh, apparently, you haven't though. They're all gone. You have no horses. Ugh, I suspect the Stormcloaks may have murdered all the horses and probably killed the poor carriage driver as well, so... Oh, bother. I really don't want to go all the way back that way on foot just because, well... I... We've already been that way. There's nothing interesting in that direction. Hello, what the... Is that a tent over there? Randomly at the edge of that field. I've never seen that before. I wonder what that's doing there. More than one tent, actually. There's a couple more. Hello, hello. Let's go take a butcher's hook at these. What's this about here? No idea if this is modded or not, by the way. Not a bloody clue. Uh, Oh, is this the Stormcloak encampment? Oh, you! Okay, apparently he uh, didn't get the memo when they bugged out. <laughs> Very interesting. What you got for me? Some steel arrows, my steel bolt, I'll have that back. Nothing else. A map. Well, that was strange, but anyway. Yeah, I guess this was the Stormcloak camp, and uh, they barely had, barely had time to pack up this stuff before they were sent running away. Ha! Brilliant. Well, anyway. Why isn't... Yeah, why isn't the steel bolt in the bottom right gone away? Yeah, there we go. Um... Okay. So we killed a random Stormcloak straggler. Good. Now we need to get to solitude. Oh, grief. I'm half tempted to fast travel. I really am. Just because... Uh, I can't be bothered to make all that big, long foot journey again. Unless we take a different route this time. That could make it interesting, I suppose. Why don't, why don't we go this time as the crow flies? We go straight this way. We go to Morthol, and then we go to solitude. Oh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Because there's a big, great big bloody river in the way, isn't there? Um. Well, hmm. Where else could we get a cart from? Nowhere nearby, could we really? The closest place we could get a cart from is probably Windhelm. Funnily enough, ah, oh, it's a pain. Maybe this way, I don't know. Round here, then up that way, past Dragon's Bridge. Um, I don't know, I feel like there's, the cart should be here and the game is just bugging out. And um, on that basis, I'm tempted to just fast travel because, well, yeah, I should be able to normally, just using the cart. Because normally I wouldn't not fast travel via the map. I, I, I always use the cart, just, just keep it, you know, reasonable, but whatever, whatever, whatever. So, sue me, I'm fast travelling to Solitude. Can I not fast travel to Solitude Stables? Can I only just go straight to... Oh, that's annoying. I want to go to... I want to go to the Stables. Well, they're down there, aren't they? And that's why I didn't, like, discover the... Oh, for heaven's sake. Ugh. 
I'm worried if I go up via this way to Morfell, I'll just get a bunch of side quests and I'll get completely distracted and it'll be like weeks before we ever get to General Tullius. I'd rather get to General Tullius straight away, so... Um... And traveling a very long distance with a follower in tow as well is just going to be plain frustrating. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'll travel to Dragon's Bridge. That's what I'll do, and I'll walk the rest of the way to Solitude. Teeny weeny bit immersion breaking, I have to admit, and I apologize for that. But oh, seriously, screw walking along that entire road again this soon after I already walked past it. You know. Just seriously, screw that. There's nothing new to see. Just dead bandits that I killed on my previous run through there. So. I will do the, this last leg of the journey, though. I don't see why not. Am I... Yeah, hungry, thirsty, slightly tired. Wasted. I'm not wasted. I'm perfectly sober, thank you. Very much. Yeah. According to this, I'm as well sober, I think. Wait, no. Oh. Uh. Yeah, okay, well, realistically seems to think I'm drunk off my face, but I'm... Well, blatantly not. So, anyway, I'm going to pop in here and let's get something to eat and drink. Four Shields Tavern. Not been in here yet. I wonder what it's uh, like. Is there anything interesting here to see? I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Good for you. Now, out of my way. Thank you. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Water, please. And, uh, yeah, more water. Why not? And food. Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Something cheap, please, because like, all the food in Skyrim is outrageously overpriced for some reason. Uh, butter. No, salt. Uh, I will have those just because. <gasps> Milk! Thank you. Leek potato soup. Medium meal. Decreased thirst. Yeah. Go for it. See ya. Ugh. Dry out by the fire. Except I'm not wet, but yeah, whatever. Hungry, thirsty, slightly tired, and yeah. <laughs> Apparently I'm really drunk, according to the mod, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure I'm not. So, uh, yeah. I suppose you want what if I carry away stamina? Oh, I've got 3% resistance exposure. Resistance to exposure from my time spent in Skyrim. Very nice. Because I've adapted to the climate. Reticent man. Slightly tired. Tactician. Oh, that's pretty neat. I forgot about that. Thirsty and yeah, okay, right. Just realistic needs is being stupid. Basically, ignore it. Um, let's have a drink. Milk. More milk. Brilliant. Okay, my thirst has been quenched. And where's that soup? I could have a bit more apparently. With a bit of charred meat. I'm full. Good. But I'm thirsty again, because, you know. Uh, I'll have one of these bottles. There we go. Tip top. Now we're just a little tired, but we can wait till we get to, you know, solitude before we try and find a bed for the night. I think stopping here in Dragon's Bridge would be jolly lazy of me, and I've been lazy enough so far, fast travelling like that, so... <laughs> I hope you guys really don't hold that against me, because I really just, I'm sorry, I just really can't be bothered to do that entire leg again of that journey. Uh, this soon, anyway, you know. If I'm going to do it again, at least let, you know, le at least, least let, like, the stuff on that road respawn before I come back, you know. I mean, it's kind of a moot point, considering if the, if the cart had been there in the first place, I would have fast-traveled anyway, but... Hello, there's a man running. And there's another. What the devil? Oh, it's a, Th it's a Thalmor in. Ha! Seriously? That's awesome. 
Thalmor have goblins with them? That's actually brilliant. Everyone who all right, I can tell you, everyone who hasn't played Tribunal right now is going to be scratching their heads and wondering what the hell's going on. But uh, I think that's pretty clever. Well done, mod maker. I think that must be immersive creatures that did that. Um, Thalmor will have little goblins following them around. <laughs> brilliant. Who are you? Uh, 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 no, no, no. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Steady now. All I did was talk to him. Uh. Uh. Okay. I've never fought a goblin before. Not sure how well this will turn out. Lady doesn't seem to be bothered. Ah, it's not very tough. Which is a bit of a relief because the, tri the goblins in Tribunal were incredibly tough. So. Crikey. Trained goblin. Elven longsword. Oh, el bloody hell. Elven longsword. 42 damage. Because compared to my. 39 damage. <laughs> Christ, okay. That's not bad. <laughs> if we're honest with ourselves. Goblin shield. No, I don't think so. Gold health potion. You know, I'm not gonna take the Elven Longsword just because I don't kind I kinda of don't want anyone to know I've just killed two Thalmor just <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, steel mace though. I'm gonna take that. I'll tell you why in a second, but Yeah. I uh I don't know what that was about. The prisoner seems to have run off, which is a bit annoying. But uh Oops, I guess. Not like they gave me a bloody choice, is it? All I did was walk up to their prisoner and try attempt to talk to him, and then suddenly, ugh, death to you. I do hope this doesn't cause a diplomatic incident. We should, um... Lydia, could you give me a hand with this? I, I think we should hide the bodies. <laughs> but, uh, um... Not that I'm sad to see the little bastards dead, but... We, um... Probably best no one knew, knew about this. Honestly. We'll have to just pretend that the prisoners somehow killed them all. Oh dear. Oh, thank you for that though. Get you guys off the road, out of sight ish. As much as I can be bothered. Ugh, that'll do. The goblins are already down there as well. Um, Lydia, we shall never speak of this again. Now let's go. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm glad we didn't fast travel the rest of the way, otherwise that wouldn't have happened. Um, it's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah. Why did I pick up the steel mace, you may be asking? Well, I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I also picked up something else. I picked up, when I was looting some of the dead Stormclerks, I also picked up this Iron Short Spear, and I actually improved it as well at the Forge. Um, and the reason why I picked up the Spear, and I've also picked up this um, Steel Mace, is because uh, we, there was a bit of a discussion a while ago in the comment sections of one of the videos. I think it was the one where I decided I wasn't going to use the Scimitar, because Claudius isn't trained in Scimitars. And people were sort of going on about, like, um what legionaries would be trained to use and uh oh you this have can't committed be good. crimes against skyrim and her people what say you in your defense Who did the prisoner see did that prisoner report me a thousand go oh. this is going to cause a diplomatic incident isn't it oh dear there's no way out of this is there i'm not starting a fight with the solitude city guard well, I'm headed to Castle Dower anyway, so you know what? Fine, I have the money to Man. spare. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Oh, thank God for Imperial Law and Order. Even if this is the second time I've been well 
It, was, it wasn't my fault. They started it. All right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be paying the fine here. I should be getting the blasted Thalmor ambassador to pay the damn fine, not me. Oh well. I've still got three thousand nine hundred gold left. I don't. Yeah, it's not really a big deal, I suppose. But still, so a thousand gold. I would have rather kept. Quite frankly, don't look at me like that. More soldier than you'll ever be. Sat here guarding a door 24-7. Yeah. I've just come from a battlefield. So, screw you. And you, frankly. Anyway. Uh, Lydia, you better wait out here. Still here. As you wish, my thing. Ugh. <sighs> I do hope the general doesn't hold that against me. It'd be rather annoying if he did, but I don't think he's going to. But anyway, see, before I. Are you trying to. Yeah, you were trying to warm yourself by the fire again, weren't you, Claude? As well. You know what? Fine. Go ahead. Um, anyway, what I was saying is like, why did I. Um, why did I pick up the spear and the mace. Well, anyway, so like I said, there was a um, discussion going on about what weapons legion re legionaries in the Imperial Legion would be trained with, and no one seemed to be able to, to actually agree. So uh, after a little while, I figured out the perfect way to actually find out what they would be trained with, and that was by loading up Morrowind and checking what the actual faction skill requirements were for the Imperial Legion in that game. And it turns out their weapon requirements were long blades, um, spears and blunt weapons so it's reasonable to assume that those w those are what Claudius would be trained with so you can use swords um, spears and maces basically so there you go so I have a mace now and, and a spear well I probably won't use the spear and I don't know if I'll use the mace but even so uh, right oh you're back you, how did you beat me here are you are you the reason why there wasn't a cart at well, White Run? Did you take the cart? Damn it, Ricker! Wish you'd let me know. I would have gone with you. Never mind. By defeating Ulfric at White Run, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. So it seems that way. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I I'm promoting you to be that optimistic if I were you. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. Uh, so what are my new orders, then? You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Oh, yes, of course, because I'm the Dragonborn. Take your way to our hidden Almost military forgot. camp in the Pale. Rika will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. What exactly will I be doing in the field, then? You'll be doing whatever Ricka tells you to do. And I expect you to find creative ways to disrupt the Stormcloaks along the way. Yes, sir. Or the Emperor. Right, I'm going to take that as a opportunity given to us by General Tullius to kind of goof off for a bit and kill some Stormcloaks and stuff. And we'll get in touch with Ricka when we finish dealing with that. Because, uh... Lest anyone have forgotten, because uh, frankly, I really did almost forget for a minute there that Claudius was the Dragonborn. <laughs> Even if apparently uh, General Tullius didn't forget, I forgot. We are the Dragonborn. And, uh, I wonder what the higher ups are making of that. Oh, we've got the first Dragonborn in, in, in a couple of centuries serving as an officer in the Legion. How very strange. But anyway, uh. Yeah, we are the Dragonborn, and we have been summoned, we were summoned some time ago now, by the the the, the, the monks at High Hrothgar, the Greybeards, as Belgraf, Belgraf referred, to him, referred to them as. And uh, he advised us to get up there straight away, up, up to High Hrothgar and see them, and we sort of didn't, because we had orders and stuff to do in the meantime. And... Uh, so that's probably what we should do now. It's probably what Claudius wants to do right now the most. He's 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 killed his fair share of stormcloaks. Whiterun is secure. The the uh, 
the Civil War's back on a stable footing, if you like. And uh, he's been given free license to wander around and murder Stormcloaks at his own ledger. Which is lovely, isn't it, really? That's very, very nice of General Tullius to do that, honestly. It's very, very uh, generous of him. But, uh, so there we go. And, uh... Perhaps now... It's time to go and see these monks, find out what exactly this Dragonborn business is all about, and uh, have our destiny revealed, and all that nonsense. See what all this Nord nonsense, is, as Preventus put it, is actually about. Because uh, Claudius has plenty of questions, and he's not getting a lot of answers at the minute. But uh, for all that, I just have to go find a bed somewhere, because... Uh, yeah, we're pretty tired. <laughs> pretty damn tired. So, uh, yeah. Till next time, then.